Hi everyone, here's Abdul and today we have a quick video um, about uh, the last unboxing I did <coughs> uh, or the last unboxing I did for uh, the watch that I kept actually and it's uh, this Casio SG-W101V uh, uh, with a dual uh, twin sensor and I thought I'd show you guys how to set up the watch so basically first we press adjust and we find our city and let's find the Lisbon, London, Madrid, Paris, Rome, Berlin. Okay, and I think we have to then change here. DST off. Summertime is on. And our summertime is off now, yeah. And then 12 hours. Now I like the 24 hours seconds now it is it's okay hours 12 48 2021 november and today's 23rd so that's basically how you set up the time here we have the world time so you set up your other city that you want to have which i want to have cairo and then you have stopwatch you can stop restart you have timer start the timer stop restart you have five alarms here alarm number one alarm number two three four and the the noise signal do you want signal off or on i want signal on and the other alarms okay now we go to the secondary uh, complication which is the the twin sensor one is the com uh, compass and the other one is the temperature so as we can see here, we have, we are at South E, uh, please calibrate. So let's press on this button, supposed to, to turn. I think that's how you do it, right? Uh, it's just making it automatic okay so basically when you calibrate it just calibrates then automatic to the room and i think i have to put it uh, horizontal um, if i uh, if i'm not mistaken and uh, yeah it does in two turns calibrate yeah basically uh when you want to set up a map and find your current location you have to do something like this which is pretty hard to explain in a video without uh, being outside um, which I'm not at the moment, I'm taking a break, uh, my midday break from work, and I thought I'd uh, make these two videos. And uh, yeah, I think this time it actually helped to read the book, because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff, um, especially here with the calibration, um, where you uh, don't know what's coming next. <laughs> and as you can see, we have here the thermometer, the compass, the compass and the digital compass can show us about uh, two seconds the reading and as well the temperature as you can see we get here a lot of uh, books we have here the calibration ah we have to turn it it's page 29 actually that i missed that somehow ah here it is so to calibrate the bearing sensor um, remove the watch from your wrist and position it back parallel with the ground at 12 o'clock pointed away from you digital compass thermometer hold a so this one until the indicator at the 12 o'clock position starts to flash this is the calibration screen press d the indication will move con clockwise on the face of the watch in each passing second each time the indicator moves to rotate the watch so in the indicator away from you 
Okay, so at all time it has to be away from me. And uh, after the flash indicator complete two full laps, you can and you rotate the watch twice, press C. The com this completes the calibration and access the screen. Message is done. Okay, so let's calibrate. So it's away pointing away from me. As you can see, and when it starts turning, I will turn it. Ah, I have to. Yeah. Is that the correct one? No, I don't think so. I think that's the right way, right? Anti-clockwise. So we did it at the other side, so it's always pointing the other way, right? And let's do it one more time, just for instructional purposes. Uh, the arrow is the other way from me and after that we press the D button right the D button C button twice I think now it's calibrated. Oh, still. No, that's not calibrated. I think I might uh, need the help in calibrating this watch. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, if you know more about calibrating the watch, if you have a, a better idea how to calibrate it, easier idea, please write me in the comments below. Also, uh, I will make a full review of this watch and uh, coming next week. So be sure to watch this as well. And also, of course, if you're interested, press this button to subscribe. You'll find also some videos that might interest you on both sides. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.